L'imparfait is a verb tense you will study very early on in your French learning journey that is used all the time when talking about the past. In this video, I'll discuss when it's used, how to conjugate it, and its differences with le passé composé. L'imparfait usually translates into saying was, were, used to, or would, plus whatever verb is being used. These translations don't work every single time, but it's a pretty good rule of thumb to remember. In a nutshell, while le passé composé is used for those quick, one and done completed actions of the past, l'imparfait is used for those repeated, continuous past actions that lasted for a longer time period with no real indication of when or if the action finished. In other words, l'imparfait is used for those past actions that were ongoing. For example, je regardais la télé lorsque le téléphone a sonné. I was watching TV when the phone rang. Here we can see the difference between l'imparfait et le passé composé. You started watching TV but then continued to do so for an unspecified amount of time, but then the phone rang and that action was done pretty instantly, so le passé composé is used. L'imparfait is used for past actions that were happening on a regular basis, in other terms, for past habits. For example, Je nageais beaucoup quand j'étais jeune. I used to swim a lot when I was young. It's used for descriptions from the past. For example, L'homme portait un chapeau et il avait des yeux bleus. The man was wearing a hat and had blue eyes. Or, Ce matin, le soleil brillait et le ciel était bleu. This morning, the sun was shining and the sky was blue. Finally, it's also used for feelings or emotions from the past. For example, Hier soir, je me suis couché tôt car j'étais fatigué. Last night, I went to bed early because I was tired. So how does one conjugate it? Luckily, this is the easy part, granted that you know the conjugation of verbs in le présent really well. To form the imparfait for essentially every single verb in the French language, you take the new form of the verb in the present tense, you chop off the ONS ending to get your stem, and then you add the verb endings of l'imparfait, which are AIS, AIS, AIT, IONS, IEZ, AIENT. So for the verb parler, you would get Je parlais, tu parlais, ils, elles, on parlait, nous parlions, vous parliez, il, elle parlait. Let's do one more example with the verb finir. So again, you take the new form of the verb in le présent, which is nous finissons. You chop off the ONS ending, keep your stem, and then you add the imparfait endings. Unlike other verb forms, there is only one irregular verb for l'imparfait, which is être, and the only irregular thing about it is its stem, which becomes e accent aigu t. Once you have this stem, you just add the imparfait endings like you would for any other verb. Thank you everyone for watching. If this video helped you out, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see future content. Also, no matter your French level, feel free to follow me on any of my social media pages for vocab, useful expressions, memes, and more.